how to install Stable Diffusion 2 for Automatic 11.11 and it is surprisingly good. And join me tomorrow for my live stream where we are going to talk about Stable Diffusion 2 and test it out in the live stream. Hello my friends, how are you doing? So my mind is blown again because I showed you yesterday the comparisons that you have seen here with the strange results I got from the Google Colab using Stable Diffusion 2. But today I did some more testing in Automatic 11.11 and these are the results. On the top we have the Stable Diffusion 1.5 EMA and then below that we have Stable Diffusion 2.0768 VEMA. Now let's have a look at the results here. This is with Face Restore. So this is the 1.5 version of that prompt. And these are more elaborate prompts, of course. Now this is the 2 version. And actually I like the details. I like the hair. I like the bokeh in the background. Everything about that is very nice. Here we have another image of a mountain scene. And by the way, these are also using artist names and styles. So for some reason it seems to work. I don't know what's going on. If you know, let me know in the comments. But this is a scene by 1.5. Pretty good. And here we have the same prompt rendered with version 2. Look at the nice details. We have branches here in the trees. We even have details inside of that shed here, inside of that hut. And the way the light is falling, the colors, Everything is pretty nice about that. I'm so surprised. I have no idea what's going on. Here we have a Japanese cyborg geisha with 1.5 and I love the aesthetic. I really love this prompt specifically. And this is version 2. Now it is not as nice as 1.5 but the details we get here and the different interpretation of that prompt is actually pretty interesting and very nice. By the way, I will link all of these images as a zip for download so you can test them yourself in Automatic 11.11. I will show you how to extract the prompt and render settings so you can start it right away. So the first thing you need is to update Automatic 11.11. There's two ways to do that. If you have installed Automatic 11.11 using Git, then you can use git pull here in the webui-user.bat file. Let me know in the comments if I should make a video on how that is done precisely. If you don't have that, simply go to the Automatic 11.11 page here, click on code and then download the zip. Next you want to go into the location where you have installed your Automatic 11.11 and you want to copy the web UI user.bat. So control C to copy that. Then you want to extract the zip file you just downloaded and put everything into that folder. It will override all of the files but don't worry it's all gonna work afterwards. After that has finished in the folder press Control V to paste in the web UI user.bat. This will override the file you have placed from the zip. So all of your settings are in there. Next, we need to download Stable Diffusion 2. In the wiki, this is the description. So you need to download this file here from Hugging Face. So simply click on that link here. You will be presented with this page. Click here on download and then you want to download this into your Stable Diffusion local folder, into the folder Models, Stable Diffusion. The file is called 768-v-ema.ckpt. Remember that because we also need to download the config file. You only need to right click on that, save link as, then again go to your Automatic 11.11 install folder and in there again to Models, Stable Diffusion and in here you want to call this file 768-v-ema.yaml. After this is done, start Automatic 11.11 as normal by double clicking on webui-user.bat and this will upload and this is going to take a while because it's going to download another file that's about 900 megabytes and going to set everything up. So give it some time until it finishes. 
After this is done, in the web UI, go up here to Stable Diffusion Checkpoint and select the 768-V-EMA file. This is Stable Diffusion 2. After that, it is very important that you set the sizes down here not smaller than 768. This is really important because otherwise you get really bad results. Stable Diffusion 2 is working in Automatic 11.11 both for text to image and for image to image. You can also use it within painting, but as the wiki points out, training will probably be broken. Now here's something I found out. If you're using the artist name Wallop, in your prompt it's going to break the Stable Diffusion 2 render and you will end up with this error message. So if you have similar problems using it, try to delete artist names and see if it starts to work again. Let me know what you think about these interesting new developments. My mind is blown again. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.